Okay, so here's how to find a mean value, and this is a uh, topic in 3.2. Okay, one of the topic in 3.2. So the mean value, have you all, as you have all known, the mean value is just simply the average value. So as we now say that it's it's the average value, everybody know that to find a mean value, all you have to do is just to simply add up all this all the individual data values and divide it by the total. So the notation for the mean value is the x bar, the lowercase x with a bar. So one solid way to find the average value is to simply add up all individual data items. So now I'm going to call x1 is my first data item, my x2 is my second data item, and then x3 is my third data item. So each of, each of the x1, x2, x3, and so forth, they're all individual data items. So now I'm going to add all of those together from the beginning to the end of the list. So n, x of n would be, would represent the very last item on my list, on my data set. And I'm going to add all the, the individual data points and I'm going to divide by n, which n represents the total. But now, doing, finding the mean value this way can be long because think about it a lot of times our data set will contain repeats lots of repeats so who knows that one x1 x2 x3 are all identically the same values and so um, if you now look into data set one for example let's learn how to find the mean value for data set one and we're gonna we're gonna know what I mean by you know the formula here can be long sometimes so let's say we're gonna now find mean value so the x bar for the mean value here is going to be uh, we have a 60 add to a 60 again so and here's you can start seeing that we are wasting time with keep adding the repeats of the 60 and then I'm going to add more so doing it this way is not practical so there's a wiser way of doing that it would be a smarter way of doing that so here's the thing so let's try to in reinvent the whole idea again. I'm still trying to find the mean value. So now, if I'm looking to into my data set one, there would be three 60s. So what I need to do is instead of keep adding the repeats like this, I'm gonna do 60 times three. Because think about it, eventually three of 60s added together would be three times 60. And then now I'm going to look into my next distinct, my next different data item. So the next distinct data item is a 64, and there would be four of 64. So so I would multiply 64 with four, and I'm adding it into three times 60. And then I'm going to look, and I'm going to add again. And here I'm going to look at over to my next distinct data item, and there's a 68, and then there are five 68s multiply together add it together so I'm gonna do go 5 times 68 and then next I have 72 which there are 8 of those and so I multiply 72 with 8 and then I'm added into my curtain sum and then my curtain sum is being added again to the next data item and that's 76 and we're multiplied it by 6 so now what you can see is what if you can see that each of the th number three and four and five and eight and six here they are the actual corresponding frequency for each of the individual data item here for each of the distinct data item and so now continuing on my list so I have 80 and multiply by six again six times 80 the next I have five times 88 and of course thing is going to get long and then after that I have a 96 just one time, I have a 104 just one time, and now I'm running a little out of space here, so allow me to jump down to my next line, plus 124, which is my very last item on the list. And now once I finish adding, now you can just go ahead and divide it by, now keep in mind the total here is 40. So meaning my mean value in the end turns out to be after you do all the calculation. Now make sure you have to finish adding and then you're gonna multiply, you're gonna divide the whole sum by 40 and your mean value is going to be 76 
0.3 according to my calculation. So that is how you find the mean value. So now in the way how we did the smart way of calculating the mean value, let's try to finalize that step into a, a newer formula, somehow a better formula. So mean value. Now once again, there's nothing, there's completely nothing wrong with this original formula, the original idea of finding the, the mean value. However, doing it this way would be uh, somehow naive because it's gonna take a lot of time because we're gonna encounter a lot of times we're gonna run into uh, uh, quite a few repeats here. So to save us some time in rewriting the, re the repeats, the new formula, the better formula, would be, and I would, in my term, I would call that the smart way formula. The smart way of calculating the mean value would be, you're gonna look at the first distinct data item, and you're gonna multiply with the frequency, the correspond fre corresponding frequency, and now you're gonna add to the next distinct data item, multiply together with the frequency for that particular item again. And you're gonna look, uh, once again, you're gonna add to the next, the third distinct data item, multiply with the corresponding frequency, and then you keep doing the same fashion here. You keep doing the same manner here until you run out, run into the last, the very last, and y you can call that X sub R, the very last distinct data item. So there's a difference between the R and the N here. The N really means the, the last data item on the list, but here the R here, I'm talking about the, the last distinct data item. And then once you finish adding, just like what we did up here in the example, and now you're gonna divide by the total still. And that is one better way and somehow a smarter way to find the mean value. Okay, so now once again, now that you have learned how to find the mean value for a data set, and we did this example here specifically on data set one.